This book is called J is for Jack-O-Lantern, A Halloween Alphabet. It's written by Denise Brennan Nelson and illustrated by Donald Wu. Feel free to pause the book and read the sides of the pages. A is for Autumn. A is for Autumn, blazing colors so bright, cider mills, pumpkins, and Halloween night. B is for Boo. B is for Boo, bones and bat. Don't forget broomstick, brew, and black cat. C is for costume. Store-bought or homemade, simple, sweet, or jazzy. Pirates, robots, ghosts, dressed up, really snazzy. D is for donuts on a string. Dangle donuts from a string and cover each player's eyes. Now be the first to finish and win a kooky prize. E is for eyeballs. Eyeballs floating in the punch, a gruesome snack or maybe lunch. Big and round and bleary red, looking gooey, filled with dread. F is for Frankenstein. Frankenstein is famous, frightening, freaky too. Create a monster of your own and see what he can do. G is for ghosts. Ghosts and ghouls and goblins play gruesome, gooey gags. Throw parties in the graveyard with ghastly, giggly hags. H is for haunted house. A haunted house, you better beware. Only enter if you dare. Monsters lurking, looking mean, just can't wait to make you scream. I is for icky. An icky Halloween game to play if you're not faint of heart requires you to feel and match the food with the body part. J is for jack-o'-lantern. A crooked grin or a carrot nose, how about a smiling face? J is for your jack-o'-lantern, a pumpkin with a face. K is for king size. Some neighbors give out apples, licorice gum, a toy. But when I see that king size bar, I can't help but jump for joy. L is for light. Pass by the house that has no light. It's their way of saying no candy tonight. M is for maze. A corn maze is a purple puzzle where you can stroll about. Have fun getting lost, then find your way back out. N is for nighttime. Nighttime brings spooky sounds, shadows darting all around, coyotes singing an eerie tune as witches fly around the moon. O is for orange. The color of pumpkins and the harvest moon Fall is orange, but leaves too soon. P is for pumpkin patch. Pick a pumpkin from a patch. No two pumpkins are a match. Cut the vine, but if they're fat, don't pick them up or they'll go splat. Q is for quivering and quaking. Quivering lips and quaking knees. Don't wake the ghosts. Quiet, please. R is for rattling bones. Skeletons party in abandoned homes. R is for their rattling bones. They shake and boogie across the floor. Dance until their bones are sore. S is for scarecrow. Scarecrows hang around all day. Wear old clothes filled with hay. They work to chase the crows away. But when do scarecrows get to play? T is for trick or treat. Three simple words you must repeat if you desire something sweet. The magic words are trick or treat. U is for unusual. U is for unusual, my Halloween disguise. So unique and utterly cool, my costume wins first prize. V is for vampire. He came to life by sucking blood, a vampire with fame. He lived in Transylvania. Count Dracula was his name. W is for witch. Witches are green, scary, and mean. Brooms keep them in motion. They gather round their big black pots to stir their magic potion. 
X is for examination. What's inside your candy? Parents like to know if your treats are safe. A simple exam will show. Y is for yard. Yards reflect this festive time with surprises and delights. Pumpkins, coffins, scarecrows, and don't forget the lights. Z is for zany. Halloween is zany fun, a holiday for everyone. Young and old have a reason to enjoy this lively season. Thank you so much for listening. I hope you enjoyed this book. Happy Halloween!